Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to Monocope Sister Row. Thank you for being here. This is going to be a reading for um, the air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius in that order. Uh, time stamps will be in the description box for you as well as any other relevant information such as how to reach out for me out to me for a personal reading um, how to connect with me on Instagram if you so choose you can now do that um, yeah and who and what this message is about okay um, once again, thank you guys for being here. Um, if you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope that you get comfortable, that you enjoy the content here. Um, whether it's your reading or not, I want you to enjoy yourself. However, I do hope that something here resonates with you and that you'll become a part of the family by subscribing and allowing me to connect with you better. Okay. So let's get into this reading. We're just going to um, see what comes out, okay? I'm just going to see what comes out. Let's start with Gemini. <clears throat> what message do you have for Gemini, please? What's going on for Gemini this week? What do they need to know? Okay, not what they want to hear. What do they need to know? What insight and advice can you give to Gemini, please? Okay. We start off with the chariot. That's nice. Success and victory. This um this card represents someone who is moving forward um because they want to, okay, because they know they can. This is someone who um the chariot controls by way of willpower, okay, not by actual physical control. It's about willpower, it's about um strength, it's about um, understanding what it is that you deserve in a situation and this is su succeeding okay succeeding and moving forward chariots also representative of vehicles and travel I don't know why I just went so much into that but I guess it was relevant <laughs> especially since we have that eight of wands showing up in the reverse because um Eight of Wands is also a card of travel. In the reverse, that's an indication of a delay or a um, lack of action, lack of inspiration even with the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Okay, this could be waiting for messages, waiting for some kind of communication or just waiting for something to happen, waiting for your happiness. This Nine of Cups, you know, I always talk about the Nine of Cups and, you know, it, it means wish fulfillment and all, but we always have the Ten. But this one in particular is clearly not satisfied. She has her arms crossed. Um, you know, her face to me has a little bit of a smirk, but that arm cross thing, and I talked about it last week. Whose video was that? I don't remember. It might have even been that same card. I don't even remember what deck of cards I used last week. I hardly remember what I ate this morning. But the point is, right, <laughs> um, I feel like for someone here, there's, there's an energy of like maybe in... Mm. I, okay. <laughs> In the overall energy, overall energy, you guys, I sound like this because my allergies are acting nuts this week. By the way, in the overall energy, you have the seven of swords um, and the seven of cups in the reverse. So. This is an energy of becoming clear about, you know, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to say. 
Um, I don't need to tell everybody about it, but I'm about to figure out how the hell to get out of here or <laughs> how to win this war even, okay? In the Seven of Swords, she's holding the Five Swords because, you know, this is, this is typically, this is something that's done, um, in the shadows, something that's done behind the backs and so behind someone's back. And so, um, this may be becoming clear to you this week, or like I said, I feel what I feel most strongly about here is someone realizing what it is that they need to do, what action they need to take, what words, um, they need to say to someone. I feel like there's communication here. There's absolutely communication here. And like I said, I feel like you've been waiting for that communication. We even have the Nine of Swords um, there showing up. I don't like seeing that Nine of Swords next to the Nine of Cups and below the King of Cups in the reverse. King of Cups in the reverse is someone who can't... Um, there's a lack of control here. There is... I feel like it's 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 actions and emotions, okay? An inability to, to, control, to control your actions and emotions. Um, it's a shame... <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a shame though because you know the, the with the chariot card coming out, chariot's also a card of having faith. Like I said, it's 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 all about the um solar plexus chakra, okay? Your your willpower, your belief in self, your ability to say I can, your ability to know that you can move forward from a situation or that you can attack something that needs to be done here. You may have received some poor news in the past with that page of wands in the reverse or, or um, again, the, the lack of inspiration that's present here. I feel like it is mostly within self. Okay, two seven showing up here. Actually, three seven, seven of cups, seven of swords, and the chariot is the number seven. And that nine of swords in the middle with the king of cups in the reverse. I mean, somebody here is having trouble believing in themselves. <sighs> Even the King of Cups here that I at the bottom of the deck. All right, let's clarify. What is going on here? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio showing up with the King of Cups. King of Cups is specifically Scorpio energy, but like I said, someone who is um, emotionally manipulative, someone who. Um, is passive aggressive, uh, you know, okay, this person is not saying what they need to say. I, and, I, and I feel that if they, f it, it feels like manipulation, it does, especially with the um, page wands in reverse and nine of swords, I, you know, it's, it's someone who kind of, um, they're emotionally manipulative. They they say what's necessary in the moment to, to kind of keep you uh, stuck. Okay. Passive aggressive communication. I can't stand it. <laughs> I can't stand it. Even that eight of wands in reverse, you know. All right. What's going on here? Let's put this all together. I mean, maybe it's put together to you. It sounds like just a bunch of words rambling out of my mouth to me. So <laughs> let's put it together, please. What's going on for Gemini? Um, okay, what's the Seven of Swords? Overall energy for this week is the Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. <laughs> Page of Wands. And that was the Queen of Wands that was trying to come out, but she went back. What is this? Something flipped over. Ace of Cups. And the Sun. With the Three of Swords and the King of Wands. Um, a lot of Aries Leo Sag here. <coughs> and Pisces showing up again. Let me see what is this.
Yeah, okay. So, uh, like I was saying with that Page of Wands and Eight of Wands that's in the reverse there, I feel like, um, you know, the, the Seven of Swords is that card, or can be anyway, that card of, of <laughs> the Great Escape, right? Um, like I was saying earlier with that Seven of Cups, behind it, this is someone who's realizing that they're no longer um, passionate about uh, something or someone that perhaps you once were. Okay, with this Ace of Cups or, or, or wanting to go towards something to find, um, I'm hearing my new thing, something new to hold on to, okay, especially with that Sun card, you know, the, the Sun card and the Page of Wands here too. It's about playfulness, you know, the Page of Wands is that very energetic page okay you may have recently been in a place as to where you don't really feel like yourself you don't feel very vibrant you don't feel very happy you don't feel very um uh joyful okay perhaps in a place of of depression okay uh, or even you know um you know maybe someone here is going to counseling as well seven of swords can be a card of that um, but I feel like you're wanting to find something here that fulfills your soul or that brings you happiness. For some of you, this could be um, uh, um, a child or, or wanting to, uh, um, I don't know, provoke your inner child in a certain in a certain sense. Maybe go on a new adventure or travel somewhere new in order to do that. Interesting. Tell me about this chariot. <clears throat> Either way, I see you creating or starting to create a plan here for yourself. Yeah, there's a high priestess showing up again and the fool in the reverse. <sighs> With the knight of wands in the reverse and the ten of wands, okay? A lot of stress, a lot of responsibility, but you're, you're wanting to leave it behind you. And potentially give to something else or someone else. What's this chariot? I really hope that you come out of a place of confusion, Gemini, because I really feel like you're very much, yeah, in your head this week. I, and I, I feel it <laughs> as I'm doing this message, like going back and forth and round and round, either about a decision or, or a situation that you're in and trying to get out of. What's this chariot, please? Because it's not fulfilling, you know. Uh, page of Wands in the reverse, it, it can indicate poor news or um, bad news of some sort. We'll clarify it. We'll clarify it. But the Page of Wands in the reverse is also um, something that's not inspiring. Okay. Page of Wands in the reverse is, um, you know, it's, it's, it's depressive. It is. And yeah, here's the Nine of Wands. I was clarifying the chariot. We got the Two of Cups. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands. Like I said, with, within this um, connection or, you know, this for some of you, this may be a friendship. It may be a contract that you're in that you're wanting to get out of. Or, or a situation ship, you know what I mean, that you're, that you're wanting to get out of. Maybe you um, realize that there's some kind of manipulative behavior here going on or, or uh, manipulative uh, uh, conversation that you had or, or, or that needs to be had here or, or something like that. Whatever it is, it, it has you worn out, okay? It, you're, you're worn out. Nine of, nine of Wands, the Judgment card, the Hangman. Yeah, Five of Wands, there's a Ten of Wands. There's some kind of partnership here that um, has you worn out. It has you at your wit's end, ready to leave. Ready to leave. Now, like I said, Two of Cups can be a friendship. It can be a romantic relationship. It could be someone new who you're flirting with. Okay, even the Page of Wands can represent that flirty energy. Tell me about the Page of Wands in the reverse, please. Oh, 
gaslighting. Yeah. That's what it feels like. It does. And for those of you who don't know what it is, I mean, I'll, I can give you a little synopsis, but please go look it up. Because it feels like this King of Cups is directly connected. I mean, it may be a Cancer here with the um, chariot right above page of wands in the reverse and that king of cups in the reverse but it's someone who 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 and that's how i'm feeling right now it's 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 um words or whatever is told to you to make you feel as though okay well maybe something i said was wrong or maybe something i did was wrong when in fact it's the other individual who is wrong or or um being manipulative in that situation but it makes you second guess um, the decisions that you make or makes you second guess the uh, words that you say or like okay well maybe maybe how I said that you know was taken in this ridiculous way but no it's a ridiculous way because that person is um, being manipulative and gaslighting you okay can we clarify this page of wands in reverse please what's this page of wands in reverse I feel like there's some kind of conversation here that's finally had, you know, maybe it causes you to be single again. Maybe it causes you to, um, <laughs> not have this flirty, flirty, um, cute little relationship or connection anymore, but I think it's likely for the better. Okay, yeah, okay. For some of you, this is absolutely about a cancer or, or, or someone here that you are rejecting or maybe you're being rejected by someone and it's just another um, form of their tactics. But that page of wands was clarified by the chariot again. I feel like this is either some kind of bad news that someone is leaving. Really, I feel like that page of wands in the reverse is representative of the way that they communicate to you in general. Page of wands in reverse is just like a freaking Debbie Downer. It is. Debbie freaking Downer is the page of wands in the reverse. Nothing ever goes my way. Why can't I ever get an opportunity? All right, I'm done. <laughs> what inspiration do you have for Gemini, please, this week? Wow. Okay. Change and transition. Archangel Azrael, thank you for leading me safely, safely through this change. Yeah, like I said, okay, for some of you, this this is going to require some kind of move or escape of some sort. I, I, I don't think it's that extreme, but that's what we're getting. Bottom of the deck is synchronicity, okay? Um, thank you, angels. I trust your well-timed guidance and signs. So be mindful this week as well, Gemini, of the um, synchronicities that you are seeing if you don't know what they mean, look them up as you go, okay? Make yourself knowledgeable about their meaning. Um, you had sevens showing up nonstop here in your message, seven, seven, seven. Like I said, the sevens are about having faith, um, trusting in that sacred chakra as well, I think will be significant for you, okay? <sighs> Libra. <laughs> what's up, Libra? What's up, what's up, what's up? Let's see, what's going on for Libra, please? Tell me about Libra this week. What message do you have for them? Hmm. 
Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles in the upright. Hmm. The moon in the reverse. I keep hearing it's it's really like cocky and smug. I keep hearing I didn't even have to work for it. You have the nine of swords in the reverse. Some kind of clarity coming in this week or uh, being revealed. It's a revelation. It feels like it's at nighttime. Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Swords is here in the reverse, like that. What is happening here, my dear? Hmm? Hmm? This is your energy, Libra. Empress in the reverse. Nobody ever wants to see the Empress in the reverse. Jeez, with the Eight of Swords and the um, Ten of Pentacles. Temperance, High Priestess. Two of Cups is here in the reverse as well. Okay. This could be regarding um, a breakup or a, a loss of trust, a lack of trust, lack of communication here, especially with the High Priestess right next to that. Um, huh. There's, there's some kind of um, wisdom here that's not being um, used or shared. Okay. Um, it feels like like uh, like um, spiritual knowledge. Um, doesn't have to be. Um, for some of you, this could be like um, wisdom by way of experience. You know what I mean? The Empress, though, in the reverse, um, she doesn't know her value. She's insecure. She's um, Empress in the reverse. You know, she... she. <sighs> yeah, yeah, the Empress in the reverse is... Um, uh, I, I, okay, listen. <laughs> I, what I'm feeling here is um, codependency. Okay, now that could be financial codependency, um, emotional codependency. It feels more um, financial than anything. And maybe that's why this person is kind of holding themselves back. Because like I said, it feels like um, someone here is knowledgeable. Someone here has wisdom that someone here also is very intuitive and, and in touch with their feminine side, I feel. I don't know if I'm speaking to a feminine energy, whatever, doesn't matter. But for some reason, they're holding themselves back from success, holding themselves back from um, creating something, okay, or, or, or creating a family, or maybe you feel like something is holding you back from creating wealth or um building your empire creating a family interesting okay what did i say earlier and i didn't even have to work for it this is interesting libra um because i i i, I do feel like um I feel like this Empress is absolutely your energy, but whoever is coming through and saying, and I, and I didn't even have to work for it, it's 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 someone else. Um, I, I feel like the, that clarity is kind of coming in this week. Uh, you know, maybe someone who is in a position of authority or, or, or who has what it is that you're deserving of or, or what you want um, is kind of being revealed to you this week. This is a long-term investment, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. It is, it's, it's something that um, you can count on. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse though is someone that you can't, okay? And like I said, we saw that Two of Cups back there in the reverse. This is um, broken trust of, of some sort. But the Three of Swords is there in the reverse. So I, I do feel like, um, 
you know, either for some of you, this has already occurred and you're kind of, kind of coming to a place of being able to forgive someone or, or um, coming to terms with, you know, it, it is what it is. It happened, but I'm still, um, I'm still here. I'm still fortunate. I'm still wise. I am still capable. Okay. Uh, mm. But there's also still resentment here. Oh my gosh. There's still resentment here. And there's still an emotional attachment to... Uh, I don't know. Are you, is someone lying to themselves? Okay. Or, uh, you know, this may be the other person who's who's been lying to themselves. And, you know, they're finally... Um, their truth is coming out or they're, they're confessing what it is that they've, they've felt. I'm wanting to say all these years. All right, what is going on here? Could be a mother figure that we're speaking about as well. With the Empress in the reverse. What is going on here, please? I think I just said this in Gemini's video. Like, I hope that for you guys, all of those words made sense and, and, and you know, you can put them together and, and place them in your lives in a way that makes sense to you. But a lot of times for me, and I'm sure it's the same way for many other tarot readers, the words just come out and it sounds like a pile of poo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seriously, it, it, it feels like there's just a bunch of words that come out and don't make any sense together. So I hope it made sense. But anyway, let me make it make sense to me <laughs> some more. Okay, uh, what we have here is um, jealousy. Yeah, there's jealousy, there's resentment, there's um, someone who uh, did not understand their value. Okay, there's there's someone who um, may have made a poor judgment call. Maybe they were codependent in the past and, and, and made a decision based off of money or invested in a relationship based off of money and not love. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, okay. Well, there we have it. Lover's card came flying out. Yeah, you know, take it as it resonates, you guys, please, because I'm speaking to a collective here. Um, I feel like what we have here is someone who is um, regretful. <sighs> regretful for uh, the decisions that they made, the, the, the choices, the, their actions, their... Um, mm -hmm. I feel like we have a mother here, honestly, a mother figure. Okay. Ace of Wands, yeah, Queen of Cups. All right, tell me about this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Feels like a family member. Doesn't have to be. But it's. Damn. Everything's falling over and jumping out. Doesn't have to be a family member, but it feels like a, a long term investment. What's this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse? For Libra, what is this? There's also abandonment here. Yeah, five of cups. The devil and the high priestess, the judgment card. Five of cups is, is the, I feel like this Knight of Pentacles is in the past. It already occurred, okay. Um, <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles, in the reverse, it can be a loss of money or some sort, but it's someone who's um, 
like I said earlier, not dependable. I mean, and especially coupled with the Empress. Empress is Earth energies, Taurus and Libra. But um, the Empress should be someone who's who's dependable, who who um, you know is able to take care of of someone else or, or a multitude of people and make decisions for those individuals and love on them and um, show them the ropes. Okay. I, I, I feel like this individual did not, okay, whoever that is, I don't know. I don't know who it is. I feel, you know, the Empress is representative of the mother, so all things motherly, they did not do, okay? The Empress gives and receives love unconditionally, and this person did not. They were not dependable. Um, they were, they, they may have, um... Um, made monetary sacrifices that were questionable, okay, or or, or um, decisions or something like that, um, that were questionable. I feel like there's a lot of um, forgiveness that's needed here with whatever this feels like a family situation is. Okay, tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Something, but someone here is coming, coming um, out of the darkness, okay, with the Moon card in reverse. And the Nine of Swords in reverse. What's this Ace of Pentacles? Hmm. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, coming back together. Okay. The Emperor. That's interesting. This could be a... Um, Love related situation where um, a um, husband and wife or business partners are coming back together, or a um, it feels like a reunion, or a, um, uh, a mother and father maybe you know who who are divorced and um, some kind of settlement or something like that. Especially with that Seven of Pentacles, there Seven of Pentacles is is about long term investment. Um, and commitment as well, especially above that Ace of Pentacles. So there's some kind of new, um, you know, maybe this is someone who's um, uh, reassessing the terms of some kind of commitment or or, or, or something like that. Whatever, whatever it is, it it's it's been stressful. Okay, it's been a um, stressful situation for sure with the Nine of Swords. This is this has caused. Um, a lot of, of anxious energy. It's caused a lot of anxiety. It's caused someone to really think that the worst outcome would be the reality. But like I said, with that moon card in the reverse, the nine of swords in the reverse, this is someone becoming clear that um, that is not the case. The ace of pentacles is is um, a new commitment. It's it's a, um, a gift from the universe and it is something stable, something grounded and something that you can depend upon. Maybe a new person, okay? you know going from the empress in the reverse to the emperor in the upright beautiful energy i mean i don't want the empress in the reverse either i would want the emperor myself so for some of you perhaps this is some kind of new partnership yeah now we have the two of cups showing up again the emperor showing up again with the magician so yeah like i said for some of you this is either coming back together with someone or someone new showing up who you've manifested um into your space interesting message here and there's the seven of pentacles we just have repeating cards here interesting libra i'm gonna leave it there let's get you some inspiration from the oracle For some of you, this may be a new business opportunity as well, where, to where one in the past kind of fell short or something. Okay, the Empress card in the reverse, um, it's a lack of growth in, in some area. It's a lack of abundance. It's an inability to create something, okay? That Ace of Pentacles is being presented to you now. <laughs> is being presented to you now. Um, yeah, hard work and dedication. Okay, what do you have for Libra? Thank you. Live your joy. Thank you angels for supporting me as I follow my joy. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful energy. 
and you have spiritual abundance here at the bottom of the deck like i said this whoever this person is um whether this is you or someone else i feel like this person is very intuitive very knowledgeable they have some kind of talent or gift or ability that is um not being used at this time whether that's to nurture, nurture children or um to provide someone or something with a stable home or foundation or, or or to show someone unconditional love or or a talent or gift of some sort that needs to be um exhibited to the world this person is kind of suppressing that whatever that is um but i feel like there's a new opportunity a new person a new gift that's kind of coming in here for you this week that allows you to express yourself. Express yourself. <laughs> okay, that's for Libra. Aquarius. That's good, Aqua. Let's see, what message do you have for Aquarius this week? For my Aquarians. Aquarius, please. Seven of Swords and the overall energy. Let's see what that's about. You have the Four of Wands, the Star in the reverse, Temperance in the reverse, World card. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. With the Empress and the Five of Pentacles. that temperance in the reverse i feel like you're ready to be at the finish line that's what i'm wanting to say initially the four of wands um is a card of marriage commitment twin flame blah 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 right um it's also a card of graduation as is the world both of those cards are about working hard and um uh, achieving something okay feeling fulfilled um, in something or with someone. <sighs> but, <laughs> but seeing this seven of swords with the nine of pentacles, I beg the differs. <laughs> it's what I'm wanting to say. I, 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 I beg to differ. You know, uh, and what I mean is, I feel like whatever this is um, for you that you're kind of, I mean, it feels like you're completing it this week or, or getting to a place of, of, of feeling fulfilled, okay, of, of your hope kind of being restored in a situation, whatever it is, you're doing it by yourself. That's what I see here. And so, you know, maybe that's not uh, the way that you intended to, to go on this journey or, or the way that you um, had planned. I feel like there's um, there's someone here who's very meticulous about um, planning something out. You know, you may have like notepads full of um, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Okay, notepads full of shit and um, pages and pages in your in your um, in your notebooks and, and in your phone on your iPad and and so on and so forth of, of how you wanted this thing to go or um, the way that you wanted to go about um, achieving something here. 
But I feel like there's, um, uh, how do you say, um, what? Okay. Um, I keep wanting to say a wrench. I don't think that's the saying. A wrench in the plan? Is that the word? Is that the saying? I don't know if that's the saying, but that's the words that they're giving me. So it's what I'm going to say out loud. And then they also said something about a, a Kool-Aid. A, well, I don't even know what that saying is. A something in the Kool-Aid. I don't know. If you guys know what it is, please comment down below and let me know because that's what they're giving me. There's there's like um, something unexpected, basically, that occurs here this week, um, whether it's a choice or a, or, a dis, or, a, or communication that comes in that makes you um, make a choice, you know, maybe some new opportunity that comes in here that requires you to choose. Okay. Like, you know, maybe I need to do this on my own. Maybe I need to walk away from, um, this thing or this person and do something on my own. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay. Um, there is this sense of you achieving something, you know, you know, maybe you've been trying to get away from somebody or trying to leave a job <laughs> all this time and you're finally able to achieve that thing. There's absolutely some sense of, um, separation, isolation, walking away kind of energy. I mean, for some of you, maybe this is you walking away from something or someone that you're already committed to. I don't know. Absolutely closing out a cycle here. Okay, with the world card. That is that is the end. The um the world card, you know. That that's the end of the major arcana and the end of the fool's journey. That is, you know, you 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 can't get to the world card without having gone through every single phase and um energy and I feel like um you know similar to actually um Libra's reading you, you know if you'll if you want to rewind back and watch that or if you already did watch it when I was talking about the Empress I feel the same thing here like this Empress is um well-rounded um, I'm wanting to say well traveled as well. Okay, the world card can be an indication of 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 travel or or um, something of that sort. But I feel like you've been through the ringer is what I'm wanting to say. All right. Okay. Tell me more. <laughs> Ten of Swords. I was clarifying that seven of swords, we got the 10. So this is absolutely you causing or creating some kind of ending here. I feel like you're doing it because you know you have to though, not because you want to, you know. I'm not gonna take this too many. Anything else for the 10 of swords? Um, excuse me, for the seven of swords. The 10 of swords is, is a, um, a painful ending. Um, but I feel like here, like it has to happen for some reason, it has to happen in order for you to move into um, a place of comfort, a place of stability. You know, that the star card in the reverse, temperance card in the reverse as someone who cannot, um, who can't accept, thing, accept an ending, someone who's lost hope, someone who's having difficulty emotionally, okay, mentally. Um, this could be someone who's literally having a mental breakdown here, the star in reverse, temperance in reverse. Um, and coupled with that five of pentacles, it may even be affecting your health here. Um, King of Cups we're getting. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, King of Cups is specifically Scorpio energy, but it's another card of commitment, okay? Um, I, I feel like you're breaking free from something or someone that you're committed to, honestly. I mean, if and if you're not doing it on a physical level, you're absolutely doing it internally. Like I said, there's something here about you realizing that you need to do something on your own. Um, and that kind of is the theme of your week here. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Okay. 
got that um, strength card coming out. Tell me more. <laughs> Lovers. Ten of Pentacles showing up at the bottom of the deck. Hangman, Two of Cups. <clears throat> yeah, somebody here is done, okay? It, it, um, I feel like you're done being uncomfortable or, or um, um, done juggling this decision or something like that. There's absolutely a commitment here that you're kind of walking away from. I mean, this could also be representative of just someone leaving home as well um, on a smaller scale. Okay. Realizing that something is no longer in alignment with what it is that you want, though. That is um, the basics of it. You know, realizing that either something or someone can't come along, similar to the Six of Swords, you know. <clears throat> what inspiration do you have here please for aqua and that's your energy to star card you know I mean seeing that in the reverse I feel like this has been really difficult for you like it's like I said just the star card next to the temperance in general Aquarius and um Sagittarius energy but nonetheless both of those cards in reverse and together like that it, 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 it says to me that this is really draining okay star card in reverse is someone who um needs to heal is is someone who um has has experienced a significant change and a foundation and and it hasn't been put back together yet or, or your new beginning hasn't started yet and you're kind of looking forward to the end here you're looking forward to the to the success you're looking forward to the closure looking forward to having hope again looking forward to feeling like yourself again Okay, star card in reverse is, is someone who does not see that as possible. Okay, and I and and you know, even the temperance card is, is in the reverse, it's like an inability to accept an ending of some sort or a separation that's perhaps already occurred. Okay, for some of you on a smaller scale as well, this may be representative of some kind of deception within a um committed relationship and uh, you know maybe somebody walked away and now you're trying to figure out what it is that you need to do moving forward or you find yourself making the big decision this week to be single or to um, um, separate yourself from a commitment what do we have leap of faith I'm ready to take a leap Ang angels thank you for doing it with me yeah and that's what you're doing like I said that that nine of pentacles and um seven of swords here tells me that you are are understanding that that doing something on your own or maybe just being on your own um is in your best interest okay so Aqua, that's the message I have for you and all my beautiful air signs this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I hope that something here resonated with you. I also hope that you will like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time for the next one. Bye.